We normally do transformation videos um, regarding people losing 100 pounds or 50 pounds or 40 pounds or their body composition changing, that sort of before and after transformation or getting off their medications. But as you can see, um, the garden here is one of our transformations for this year. You should be seeing a video in the top corner of what the garden used to look like when Rupert was playing out there. All the things that have happened is, I did a video earlier in the year about moving the woodshed because it was in this corner here, way too deep. And I cut it down and moved it to here to sort of partition the garden off. And the sun here in the UK, we, we get the sun in this bit early in the morning. So we've transformed that, made that uh, planter. Rupert's very happy, by the way, that we're out here. He wants his ball, which is exactly what we did in the first video which is crazy, isn't it? He wants to do that. So let's get his ball. <laughs> he was there in the original video. Sorry about that, terrible camera work. And uh, here he is. So that's where the grass was, and that's where he used to play. And it now looks like this, rather than <laughs> how it used to look. So I think we quite like that. And, um, Yes, here he is. He's still loving playing with the ball. <laughs> Showing off the camera. Just love it. Uh, yeah, so this is how we did it. And like I say, um, all reclaimed. These were 10p each, these blocks here. So it's 16 pounds to do this entire seating area. Well, uh, the pallets were used for the bench. I made the table and made a slightly raised platform there. All the benches made out of pallets, just reclaimed wood. The seat is actually old scaffold bowl, scaffolding boards that uh, wasn't needed. I made that table from off cuts as well. Um, yeah, that's an old sleeper reclaimed, an old chimney pot. And that's basically the transformation of the garden. Um, just so you can see it all. I uh, did that wall there, so. <laughs> that little um, bed looks quite good, the raised bed. And then we've got sort of a little Italian type garden there. No, flower bed, Italian flower bed. And that's basically the transformation of the garden. So, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed seeing something slightly different to what we normally do and that was uh, since January we've been here this is Rupert's little friend when we let him out for uh, not the frog by the way when we let Rupert out to have a, a wee wee in the garden he tries to find this little frog um, but uh, he's lovely isn't he he's absolutely lovely look at him <laughs> And I think he's scared because they do make a sort of ah, ah, noise when they're scared. When you're redoing the garden and you notice nature on one of the fences, I have no idea what this is. I think it's just <laughs> coming out of its sort of shell sort of thing. No idea what it is. Answers on a postcard.
just for those that are interested, we raised the beds. This is supposed to be like a little Italian raised bed, Italian garden type of thing. So the sun's quite, quite sharp this morning, which is good. So we made that. And I did this wall down here and we've got like a little sort of heather, heather sort of garden. And this is Rupert getting excited because we've got somebody coming home. I think that might be Jane at the gate. And that's the fire pit, which is the uh, best addition to the garden so far, because we'll be cooking some food on that possibly later. Maybe not with this one, because there's um, paint on some of the wood, because it was uh, reclaimed wood. But doesn't it look good?